In this video, we'll be taking you through the basics on how to install an M.2 solid state drive. We'll be using the WD Black SN850 Gen 4 M.2 NVMe SSD. With modern components, they're a lot more robust than they used to be, with anti-static measures already built in. So static isn't a huge concern these days, but if you are worried about this, there'll be links in the description below that list several methods of grounding yourself during this process. With that being said, I am wearing boots with rubber soles and be working on this rubber mat as a precaution. We're going to assume you've already confirmed that your motherboard can take a Gen 4 M.2 PCIe NVMe drive. You won't be able to tell whether your motherboard is Gen 3 or Gen 4 compatible by looking at the slot. You'll have to consult your manufacturer handbook. If you're working on a fresh build, this will be a lot easier as you have more room to work on your motherboard. We'll be fitting ours to an existing system. To do this, we'll need to remove the GPU in order to give us enough room to install the M.2 drive. As you can see here, you don't need to remove the graphics card in order to install the M.2 but we will be, as it makes it that much easier. Removing the GPU is pretty straightforward, so we're not gonna to go too in depth here. Some motherboards, like this one, have a heatsink to provide extra cooling for the M.2, so we need to remove this to get to the M.2 socket. Here's the socket that the M.2 goes into. As you can see, there's only one way for it to go in, as seen by the gold connectors at the right hand side. But it does need to be the right way up. This information can be found in the instruction leaflet, but normally you can tell by the sticker that's pointing forwards. It needs to be plugged in at roughly 30 degree angle. And it's quite simple from there. You use the tiny screw that you get with the motherboard, and you screw it down on the left hand side. So next we put them back on the heatsink, making sure that the thermal padding is on top of the M.2. And that's it. Installing the M.2 is as easy as that. Next, we're going to install Windows on this brand new drive. For a fresh install like this, you'll need a copy of Windows, either on a disk or on a USB, like this. And you need to make sure this is plugged into your computer before it's powered on. Even though this is one of our pre-built systems, for the purpose of this video, we're going to do a fresh Windows install. So when I power it on, it should go straight into BIOS. On this particular motherboard, it's F11 to get into the boot manager. So the next screen should look like this. Now this is the start of the Windows installation process. This next bit's quite easy. It's just follow the prompts that appear on screen and choose the sections that are right for you. If you follow the prompts, you'll end up on this screen where you need to choose which drive to allocate your Windows installation to. So if you have multiple drives, they will appear right here, which can make it tricky trying to figure out which one to install your Windows onto. My suggestion would be to unplug the other drives that aren't used for your Windows installation, which just leaves you with your boot device. Once the boot drive is selected, all you have to do now is press next. This section can take a while, but once it's done, that's it. Your new drive is fitted and Windows is installed. The WD Black SN850 is an amazing SSD. If you want to upgrade your system with more storage and lightning fast speeds, this is the drive for you. With up to two terabyte capacity, the WD Black SN850 M.2 NVMe SSD gives you the space to store your favorite games and load them in seconds. Links to WD software and installation tips can be found in the description below. If you're fitting your own components, you should read through instructions carefully before installing. 